Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this cool little render of Lego Heisenberg and how you can accomplish the same lighting effect. I'm not going to be showing you how I made the actual character. I do have a little speed model of the Lego guy, but this more goes over how I did the lighting and how you can accomplish this as well. So if I minimize this, when we come to our scene, oops, zoomed in too far. You can see this is very similar to another uh, video I had made where I had done a studio render scene and this is exactly how you're going to set up that scene. So if you already have the studio render scene from our previous video, you can just use that to recreate what I created here. And the cool thing is, um, it's really simple. It's I could make this video 30 seconds long honestly, but uh, that's kind of short. So right now, if you were to render this with the typical studio scene, you'd be getting uh, something similar to like this, where you'd see everything, you'd see the background, it, it would all be lit up. Now what we want to do is we want to exclude our background, so the lights are not affecting this back plane. And the way you do that is very simple, you just grab your light, and you go to your sightings. You're then going to go to exclude. And then you're going to grab whatever this is. This is just plane one. So I come over, I take plane one, and I click on this right arrow here, and it will put it over into the exclude slot. So that's going to exclude both elimin elimin uh, <laughs> illumination and shadow casting. So both of those are now excluded. So the point of this is basically that the background here is not going to take any light from these two, or well, these three lights here only light it's going to get is off the reflection of my character. So my character is yellow and blue and the reflection of the reflecting of the light is going to bounce off of these and hit the ground. So even though there's not no light coming from the actual lights, it is reflecting off of my objects and hitting the ground, which is giving it this nice little effect here. So that's basically the whole tutorial here and it's really simple. There is a few other things I need to talk about though, so don't end the video here just yet. Uh, if you go into your render setup, there we go. Uh, something really important here is your bucket image sampler. This is really important. Usually I have this at 3 and 16, but if I was to go ahead and render this right now, uh, let me cancel this, um, bring up a full render kind of. Just so I can kind of see where I'm at in my scene. Okay. Yeah, if we were to come down to right here and we were to render this, you're going to notice something here in a second. You're getting a, a lot of noise, especially down here in the bottom right corner. You're getting a lot of noise. And the reason for that is because the image sampler is not set up high enough. So if you were to take your cell phone camera and you were to take a photo at nighttime in the dark, you're gonna notice it's really grainy and fuzzy, and that's because there's not getting enough subdivides if you put it into 3D terms. So what you would wanna do is increase this from 16 up to 32, like I did. Now, if I was to open my flash frame buffer here, and I render just underneath this so we can get a comparison. This is gonna take a lot longer. By going from 16 to 32, it's probably gonna take twice as long. This entire image in total took me about three hours to render out, but that's also because I have my sampler set really high, so that way they'd be much smoother. You can already see right here, it's already getting smoother than it is in the top part, but where you're really gonna notice it is over here on this side. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's still much better than this top one with 16. Now, if you were to increase this up to 64, uh, I can cancel this and I can try doing a 64. I'm just gonna do a very small little area because this is gonna take a long time to render. Every time you increase this, it, it increases the render time exponentially. So while this is rendering, um, I can talk about some of the other things in the scene. My camera is set up just like I have it set up every other time. I have an ISO of 100. All the stuff that you've learned in previous videos, you can apply straight to this video. The only thing new you're gonna be learning is how to set up those lights so that way they exclude that background. Now you can see right here, it's 
day and night difference this compared to this and even 32 is pretty well i wouldn't want to render this with 64 because it would take just way too long to render out the entire thing so the most important things are here and that you have your light set to exclude now i can go over the rest of it with you so that way you don't have to go back to my previous videos but if you want to learn how to set this up like a studio scene then you have to go watch that video so that way i don't have to repeat myself so uh we're going to have to set as bucket type the image filter is v-ray lanzos filter and then we have this set to 3 and 32 with a noise threshold of 0 0.002 global dmc I have 0 0.002 for a noise threshold there and then for my gi i have brute force and light cache and those are the settings it's pretty much the same settings i have with every other render i do it's a nice setup and it makes everything look pretty nice usually to increase or decrease my render times i will make this a one two three four or five for all of these different ones but that's the whole setup here yeah that's uh basically everything <laughs> i can show you the camera as well i didn't want to make this such a short video i didn't want it to be just 30 seconds long saying hey click on the exclude button um so this is uh the camera settings as well we've gone over this in the past so i hope you learned something uh i would love to see some of your guys's renders if you have some cool stuff like this i didn't do just this one like this either i did this workout ball as well same concept same exact render scene it's identical to this one i just have a different object placed in there i have the background excluded getting really cool lighting around the ball because of this backlight so yeah uh thank you again for all the support i say it every video because i really appreciate it you guys are the best and uh we just hit 1500 subscribers so thank you i really appreciate that um yeah so I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you like this, uh, please leave a like. It's the best way you can support me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later.